Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Nokia 1100. So the Nokia 1100 was a low-end phone released by Nokia in 2003. It kind of offered only the basic phone features, um, and it did without a camera, colour screen, and other high-end features at the time. So, I'm going to split this video into three parts. Um, we have the conclusion at the end, a software overview, and a hardware overview. We'll start the video with a hardware review. So in terms of hardware, it's a very basic brick phone slash feature phone style. Um, on the front, we have the monochrome screen. It's approximately an inch across. Um, the buttons one through nine, a power button, a C button, which kind of is a multi-purpose button, a select button, and an up and down button for you navigating menus. So it's got a speaker up here and a microphone down here. On the bottom we've got some ports, I think this is a 2.5mm headset jack and a power. On the back, we can pop that over and, and we've got the very hard to remove battery. It takes forever fiddling around, messing with this. Finally get that thing out. There we go. Anyway, it's got kind of a weird, one of the weirdest SIM card trays I've ever seen. And over here we've got some serial numbers. Luckily you can't see them because of my camera. There's a SIM card which I've put in. And I've been using this as my main phone for a little while, just to sort of live in the past. Also, my actual phone broke, so it's a good opportunity to not buy a new one. Anyway, I'll just click this back together. And that's basically it. It's simple, easy to use, um, and very standard design. Now I'll move on to the software. So I've powered up and it's just going on the default screensaver, which is a nice touch. It's got the word Nokia spinning around on the screen. I'll press the middle button to wake it up and we're on the menu. I'll press the C key, which sort of serves as a home button, to get to the home screen. On the side we have some information and it activates the screensaver very quickly, which is kind of a fault. Um, on the side we have some information. We have full battery and full cell phone bars. So in the menu this is where all the action happens. Um, messages, it's kind of rather um, self-explanatory. We have write message, inbox, draft, sent items, chat, and picture messages. I'm not sure kind of what pictures you can send. Oh, actually, I am sure now because these are the ones. So they're rather basic um, black and white art, um, which you could send with a picture. It's not quite what we think of as picture messages today. Distribution lists, templates, smileys. Let's just have a look at what range of smileys. And again, these are kind of the basic smileys, which kind of everybody uses. Sorry if you can hear my dog whining in the background. You can also, I think, create your own smileys. There we are. I could sort of do my own smiley. Not sure how I would do that, but anyway. Um, delete messages, message settings. Let's have a look at message settings. Okay, this is just basically just some profiles, I think. Not too sure about that. Info service, like self-explanatory, and we're back to the beginning. Now, we also have contacts, again, rather self-explanatory. Add contact, edit contacts, etc. Call register, see what numbers I've called, I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons. Tones, we have a few ringing tones, I can set that, and this is something you'll love to hear. Oh, hang on, I want, how, how am I supposed to play it? Sorry about that. I thought you play, I could play it. I'll find a way of playing it later. It's the default Nokia tune, which people will like. Profiles, you know, self-explanatory again. Settings, so it gets a little interesting. Time settings, call settings, phone settings. Language. So, I'm back to the beginning there. Just a few settings, keyboard settings. And we can go to restore factory defaults. Alarm clock. Set clock first. Oh, okay, so it just wants me to set up an alarm clock. No, okay. Reminders. Okay, let's have a look at reminders. Oh, it wants me to set the clock first as well. Anyway, games. We've got some quite interesting games on this phone. Snake 2 being my favourite. Uh, 
although it's hard to play from behind a keypad. There we are. Um. Ah, well. I'm not very good at this, as you can probably tell. <laughs> anyway, um, we also have another game. What was that? Space Impact 2. I'm not really sure what this is. I've not played it. Seems to be some kind of attacking game. Oh, okay, I know what we are. So I've got to try and hit these things, do I? Okay, whatever. I'm sure somebody else will know better how to play that game. Extras is where it gets even more interesting. We have a basic calculator. I'll just show you that. It tells me that 2 plus 3 uh, equals 5. Well... I didn't know that calculator. Thank you for that. Stopwatch. Start the stopwatch. Um, countdown timer. And Composer. Now, I love this. I'm going to have a separate video up on Composer. Uh, it should be up pretty soon. But I'll just... You can make tones. I'll just play one that I made. There we are, and you can save them with different names. Um, screensaver, we've got a choice of screensavers. Um, that's one, that's another, and then these are stationary pictures, the time, and a few other things. Nothing of much interest. Oops, I dialed a number. Um, and that's about everything, really, um, in terms of software. Call quality is perfectly fine. I could hear somebody else on the other end of the line and they could hear me. And not much really else to say about this. Yeah. So, we'll move on to the conclusion. Overall, conclu in conclusion, in 2003, this would have been a great buy. It would have featured everything you needed for your first cell phone or perhaps for the elderly. And even today, I find I can use it with ease. It works fine with modern um, user interfaces and... Very basic. Also, throughout this video, sorry if you could hear my dog whining in the background. I'll just shut up and let you hear her a bit more now. She's whining because I shut her away. Last time, when I made a video, I had her on my bed and she was going, wow, 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 doing the exact same whining noises right next to the camera. Anyway, thanks for watching.